In this video we're going to create a knotted tube and then send a camera hurtling along its length, rather like being on a roller coaster. To get started shoot along to this address for the starting template for this project. First step is to create the mesh that we will be zooming along and a material. For the geometry we need a curve. If you look in the settings JavaScript panel you'll see I've added the 3GS curves extra.js file. If you download 3GS from GitHub, the main library is contained in the build folder, but there are many additional files that you can use. These are contained in the examples folder. If you're using basic JavaScript, then the files you'll need to add to your own project are in the JS folder. Curves extra.js is in the examples JS curves folder. I've copied this to my AWS folder to use in this CodePen project. There's also a JSM folder if you're using a module approach, but I won't be covering that in this course. The Curves Extra JS file contains lots of curves that you can use. I'm using a granny knot. Enter const curve equals new 3.curves.granny knot. Now we have a curve in the form of a granny knot, but how do we turn that into a mesh? There is another geometry class that we've not yet considered. That is tube geometry. This takes several parameters, the first of which is a three dot curve. Parameter two is the number of segments along the curve. Parameter three is the radius of the circle that is extended along the curve to create the mesh. Parameter 4 is the number of edges in the circle and parameter 5 is whether to close the curve so the end meets up with the start. For our granny knot tube enter const geometry equal new 3 dot tube buffer geometry curve 100 2 8 true. We will need a material. We're going to use a white double sided wireframe material. Can you create this? Pause the video now and give it a try. Did you enter const material equals new 3 dot mesh basic material color 0x ff 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 wireframe true side 3 double side? If you choose a Lambert Fong or standard material that's fine. The important thing is the options passed to the constructor method. Now we need to create the mesh. That should be easy now. Give it a try. Yes, you enter tube equals new 3 dot mesh geometry material. Scene dot add tube. If you chose a different name that's fine. But to ensure the camera motion works correctly, make sure it's the global variable tube. That is no const in front of the variable. Tube is already defined as a global variable in this template. Looks great, but we want to move the camera along the tube. I've created a function that we're going to use to do the camera updating. Notice that this is being called in the update method. In the template this function is empty. Now we will populate it. First we get a value for t using the clock.getElapsedTime method and a loop time of 20 seconds. Enter const t equals time percent loop time divided by loop time. Remember that the modulus operator percent determines the remainder after division by the right hand side. It ensures that the value time is in the range 0 to loop time. So the value t will be a value between 0 and 1. 0 will set the camera at the start of the curve and 1 at the end. Because we're using a closed curve, these will actually be the same positions. We also need a value slightly further along in time. One way is to use time plus 0.1 percent loop time divided by loop time. That will get the value for t2 when the time is a tenth of a second later. Now we want the vector 3 value for the position along the curve used to create the tube at t and t2. We can access the curve using tube 
geometry, parameters, path. And the curve has a method for getting the point, get point at, passing a value between 0 and 1. Enter const pos equals tube.geometry.parameters.path.getPointAt t and const pos2 equals tube.geometry.parameters.path.getPointAt t2. Now we want to set the camera position to point pos and get the camera to look at point pos2. Great work! You're travelling along the inside of the tube looking forward. You've learnt a lot about cameras and discovered more geometry classes in this section. This video comes from my PAC course. Find the course on Udemy by following the links in the description.